Hello, I am Dr. Narendra Reddy. I am the consultant vascular surgeon at Columbia Asia Hospital Whitefield. I have been associated with this hospital right from the inception three years back. Peripheral vascular disease. What is peripheral vascular disease? So the legs and the arms are actually supplied by arteries. Sometimes when these arteries get either narrowed or blocked for a variety of reasons, it could be lifestyle uh, reasons such as smoking, hypertension, deposition of atherosclerotic plaques. So once the atherosclerotic plaque deposits in the arteries of the leg, it tends to a narrowing of the arteries. Also, it can get blocked. As these blocks get bigger and bigger, patients start coming to have, they have, they have symptoms. So that is called as a claudication. By definition, a, a claudication means limp, eye limp. So because the blood supply to the leg is reduced, so when the patient walks or exercises, they tend to have pain in their legs. The initial stages of claudication, they experience pain, but they are still able to walk after taking a little bit of rest. As the blocks in their legs get worse and the blocks become almost complete, claudication becomes unbearable. The patients are not able to walk even for little distances. In the final stages, they have what is called as rest pain. So once they re read the stage of rest pain, the next thing would be they start developing wounds, ulcers in their legs that do not heal. And then it may lead to gangrene and they might end up with an amputation of their legs. The main reasons for peripheral vascular disease in our country are usually number one diabetes, number two because of tobacco use and smoking.